I wanted to start with you first. You've had such an illustrious career in this industry in front of and behind the camera on the stage and the screen. What was it about Ride and this character in particular that attracted you to it? Hmm. Well, I, uh, I, I fell in love with who this woman is and where she is in her life. And the fact that she is a woman that is, is her, very much her own person. She's not um, uh, just on the arm of some man and, and she's really trying to stake a claim uh, for her ranch, for her family, for her place in the community, and uh, just a just a wonderful multifaceted character. And I and I love where this show is set on this gorgeous ranch, uh, in this world that I knew nothing about the world of rodeo, the world of ranching. Um, it just is it was pretty much a dream come true. And I knew it as soon as as soon as my agent called me and said, "There's this project," I said, "I." Want I have to be that person. I miss Bell. Like me. Sierra, so much of Missy's arc in season one is about writing her own story and not being defined by her trauma and loss, embracing the fact that she may not know what the future holds, and that's okay. And you've handled that journey with so much nuance. As an actress, how did you create the space for yourself to dive into that arc? You know, I think it's something that everybody's kind of always navigating to a certain extent you know obviously different varying degrees of grief and and trauma but i feel like the place that i'm at in my life and and you know just being able to pull from you know own past experiences i think you know the the journey of self-discovery and and where you what your place is in the world and who you want to be and the the story you want to tell and um is something that you know i feel like everybody is always kind of navigating and you know what what is true for you um so i definitely think it was a really fun experience to play with that and also was a was a really interesting journey of self-discovery for me too to ask myself some of the questions that missy was asking herself and mm. and kind of bringing that into the character as well Definitely. And then, Bo, for you, Cash feels this immense pressure to carry on his family's legacy and help save their ranch, but he's also battling his own internal demons, whether that's PTSD or anxiety or a combination of the both. And you brought so much depth to that vulnerability. What has it been like getting to collaborate with the writers and finding those moments where, where Cash can let his walls down and express the pain that he has underneath without using dialogue? Yeah. Um, oh. It's been a really great process. Um, you know, the character was was always there. You know, he was always this the war veteran. He was someone who was struggling with with um, you know, bull riding and his family and his love life and all of that and contending with who he is as a man at this point in his life. Um so it was uh my job was to how do I tap into that? How do I make that authentic and realistic. And that's kind of the fun part. It is what kind of what Tierra was saying is this, this journey of self discovery, and you don't really know how it's going to go every time. And every character is different. You're like, I got to get on top of that mountain. How do I do that? And every time you, you pick a different route, and I'm always conti I'm continually surprised with the process and what I discover about myself and the character and all that. And I think I was always in dialogue with the writers, and we kind of just bounced ideas off each other. And it was a really, really exciting feeling collaborative experience. Great answer. And then Nancy and Tira, something that I love about this series is that it features so many strong female characters who are uplifting one another. Who are the women in your own lives who help shape the storytellers that you are today? Did you channel them into your character? Oh, this answer's gonna make I me cry. <laughs> I felt a little something I um, Well, I, I'm literally getting teared up. My, my little sister is upstairs mm -hmm. in the hotel. Um, and obviously my sister and my mom and my grandma, like I was, my grandma helped raise me, me and my sister are best friends. And, you know, obviously my mom supporting everything I've done has been, you know, the reason that I am who I am and that I'm even able to be here. So definitely the three of them for sure. I, I, I have to say also the way I know it's just really the women in my life. I mean, my, my mother, my grandmother, and, and honestly, the, the men in my life too. Um, my dad, husband, sons who are just uh, love storytelling and are very respectful and 
uh, enamored of the magic of of the creative process and uh you know i mean my my grandmother used to love to go to the movies to see uh cauliflower ears clark gable <laughs> is what she called it <laughs> so i mean it just comes from this whole um i mean not just storytellers but 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 this the love of this whatever this business is mm. Mm. And then, you know, but in addition to the mental preparation that you had to do for this project, you also shot on location and there's this unpredictability that you can't get to account for when you're working with animals. How did that setting help elevate your performance and bring the authenticity that we see on screen? It's a great question. The environment is a character in the show. Yeah. It really is. I mean, you write the, oh, the, yeah. the, the mountains and the ground and you're there and you feel this world and the animals and everything. I mean, it's, it's so important. I mean, that it, when you're preparing for a role, a lot of it can be in your head and it's, it's not really outside of you. And then when you get on the ranch and you understand, oh yeah, this is a person who's more comfortable with the trees and the, and, and, and the cows and the, and the mountains. And he is, you know, uh, oftentimes with other people and you feel that it, it transplants you feel the, the earth you feel the wind on your face and all that and you understand who this character is and what his whole life life is about mm. also the people i mean we so yeah. not only are we on a ranch that that we're, we're seeing uh horses foal and cows yeah. being driven but but the people we were we were with people that are actually rodeo performers and riders mm -hmm. and, and got to understand their way of life mm -hmm. and and to be with them and talk to them and how uh you know and it starts at a very early age i mean very young children put on horses and and they have to learn how to rope and ride and uh and and just being a part of that conversation and mm -hmm. and their lives their the yeah. fabric of their lives was was incredible. It's one thing to read about. It's another thing to actually oh, yeah. see it. Yes, you exactly. Know, these family oriented people who care for their animals and this yeah. just holistic kind of mm -hmm. existence. It's cool. It's yeah. like creates this like vastness, but also closeness. Like the land mm -hmm. is so vast and feels so powerful, but then these families and these people in this community come together to create this like tight knit world to preserve the bigger world. But well, very really welcoming. I mean, yeah. I definitely felt like we were embraced and yeah. and uh, included in yeah. a way that maybe other environments aren't sure. that way. I don't know. Salt of the earth people. Yeah. Salt of the earth people. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it definitely comes across on screen. And this is a question for the entire group, but the series tackles so many universal themes. And I think each audience member will take away something different. For each of you, was there a theme that hit home for you? Hmm. I mean, maybe family for all of us, yeah. for sure. Yeah, especially, I think, for Cash, oh, I think for everyone, the family, for sure, but also not just, like, this nice idea of, oh, we all love each other, but the complexity and the yeah. struggle that can be a family. Mm -hmm. And the, like, sometimes wanting to break free and do your own thing and be yeah. independent, but then coming back and realizing this is what's important in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can you bear, like, for, for your loved one? Like, what, what can you bear and what is unbearable? Mm. Yeah. Uh, is an interesting uh, dilemma. Right. Yeah. I think there's also a huge element of, you know, grief that's yeah, right. very mm. deeply steeped in this family. And so to have that kind of as an underlying thing that, you know, in a way is pulling people apart, but also this thing that unfortunately binds this family. And so to have that be something that we're all kind of navigating at varying degrees while trying to find our identities and, and hold each other together while pulling apart, it's it's very mm -hmm. complex and very interesting. And I think it creates these these stories and these dynamics of this family and this community and this, you know, this ranch. Well said. Mm -hmm.